Star Wars Ray perfume. Uh, before we get into this review, let us look at how freaking awesome this box is. So it comes in this box and it's got imprinted Ray on it. So Star Wars Ray. Um, this is a 50 ml and also this is um, retailed as a unisex scent. And then you open the box up. And then you've got this bit here that says Star Wars. Right, and then here it explains the perfume. So this is a powerful, sweet, fruity and floral fragrance representing all that is strong, collected and sophisticated. And then the box, like I said, the bottle sits in here. This is one of those perfume boxes I'll definitely keep because it's just freaking awesome. Like the effort they put into it is amazing. And this is produced by Keep Me Cosmetics. So onto the bottle. So as you can see, the bottle is like a metallic gold. Now the only thing I don't like about this bottle is that you can't actually it's not see through, so you can't tell. So if you really like the perfume, you can't really tell how much you got left in it so you can go and grab um another one so but other than that i really love the buff but the perfume is pretty cool so on to the notes so the top notes contain mandarin lemon red berries and casey casey's the middle notes is honeysuckle garden a jasmine and the base notes are caramel praline musk amber and sandal Wood. so let's get into the scent let me move my jumper off so I can spray it so when you first smell it or first spray it should I say you get like um, you get this sweet scent but it's not too sweet which I was worried about I thought this was going to be a very sweet fragrance like a generic sweet maybe I thought it was going to smell maybe a bit like I don't know all these other celebrity perfumes like Nicki Minaj you know all them with that sweetness but it's a sweetness but it's not an overpowering sweet and um, you get that orange that mandarin who do you know what mandarin is orange <laughs> that mandarin come in And then all the red, um, and the lemon and the red berries. But what's the most strongest note I find from the top note is the mandarin. Um, as it starts to dry down, you then get that floral, um, coming of the garden. Eh? Now again, the florals aren't. It's not an overpowering floral, which I can understand why it's um sort of you know why it's um marketed as a unisex fragrance you do get the said it is sweet and you do get that floral but it's not a heavy floral it's a nice like delicate floral if that makes any sense and then as it dries down when it the dry down i can then sort of understand this part where it's like sort of as a unisex because i can smell like I could probably smell it on a bloke but the initial spray is it sprays like a you know a female perfume so maybe off put into some men but as we get down to the dry and you get that musk that comes in the musk and the sandalwood and that's the one especially the musk the musk is very overpowering which sort of brings it to sort of I'd say that unisex smell which I could which I say I would probably smell it on a bloke now the very very dry and um, um, dry part of it i'm not a massive fan of it um like the initial spray i like and the initial you know when you get that floral scent but when you get to the proper dry down i'm not a massive fan of it it could be the caramel because you do get that caramel that comes in and smooths it out could be that which I'm not massive <laughs> massive fan on and you get that amber as well um even though it's got the praline in it you don't really smell any like chocolatey like um scent from it I mean you do get a little bit of the caramel but I, I don't get any praline in it 
and you do get the amber. So as an overall to, you know, go through this fragrance, it is, you do get that, that zesty smell when you first spray it. Zesty, slightly sweet scent, but it's not too sweet. It's just like a hint of sweetness. And then in comes the floor, as the florals are in there, it's quite delicate. It's not heavy, not heavy, heavy floral. It's a nice, delicate floral. So if you're not a massive fan of florals, um, then I definitely, um, you know, I definitely recommend it because it's not a heavy floral. I find it's a nice, delicate floral. Um, and then in comes the moss, the sandalwood, and when they all come in, that's when I scent that I, I, I get why it's marketed as a unisex fragrance. Would he, would a guy wear it? So it's up to a guy, you know, it's up to the person. I think if you're a manly, manly, manly man and you like manly, manly scents, you may not like it, but I do understand that it, you, I do get why it's a unisex fragrance. Like some unisex fragrances can smell more female than males and a lot of males then don't, you know, like it or whatever wouldn't go for something like that but it's not it's one of those fragrances where it is sweet but not too sweet it is floral but it's not too floral so i can see a man wearing it um overall does it match ray's personality now i've not seen star wars but um at all well obviously the old ones i've not seen any of the new ones i'm not gonna lie i'm not you know like a star wars massive fan not like my brother but what i get from ray and you know reviews of the film is that she's a strong independent woman do i think this fragrance portrays it i'm gonna say yeah as i said it's really nice i really like it the only issue i have with this fragrance is which i'm really really glad i got it at a discount is the lasting power is just not there at all it lasts around what three hours two hours on me um when it does get to the very very dry down it's one of those fragrances where it's um is it silage you call it um it's more of a personal fragrance where if someone's close to you they're more likely to smell it where if someone's like you know a normal width away from you they're not gonna smell it it's one of those sort of perfumes but for me it just doesn't last long and um, this retails for £17 at 99 usual price as well. I got it for £8.99. I do definitely recommend it if you can see it for £8.99. It's a nice fragrance, but it just does not last on me. But yeah, that's it for this review. So bye guys.